I don't think you can do that. Yeah, I can. Your turn, Scott. Uh, ho hold on. I'm pretty sure you said if the Chow Fa space is occupied, which it is by me, you may not move your tuk-tuk to an adjacent fish market. I never said that. Yeah, it's a totally legal move. All right, go ahead, Scott. Chop, chop. Okay. Um. This has just been so great, getting to know everybody. I mean, it's been more fun than I expected, so sorry. No. <laughs> no. Offense not taken. Okay. <laughs> Offense not meant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hear me out on the Chow Fa rule. Here's what I'm saying, okay? I mean, think about it thematically. Chow Fa is the only road leading to the fish markets, right? If instead you took your tuk tuk. Put that tuk tuk down. But I think that you're wrong about the rules. I'm gonna count to 10. I've based One, my entire strategy around this, two, and now I'm falling way behind. Three. I'm not accusing you of cheating. I'm really not. I'm just saying that. Seven. If we could just look in here. Eight. Just, if we just opened up the page. Nine. Just, page four, item two, bottom of the page. Check it out if you don't believe me. Wait a minute. You said you never played this game before, so how would you know all of that? Okay, fine. I studied it online, all right? I kept learning it and learning it and learning it all week long just so that when you taught me, it would seem like I picked it up very quickly. But that's beside the point. Let's just forget all about that right now. The point is that I have read this rule book cover to cover at least 15 times and watched no less than four long, rambling, very poorly lit YouTube demos, and I can state unequivocally that the rule exists. Yeah, we know. Then why are we ignoring it? Because it's broken. It unfairly allows a player to cock block the fish markets which you need to win, so we ignore it. It's a house rule. In fact, I'm currently in the process of submitting a proposal to Great Whale Games to have the rule changed permanently. Wow, okay, well, uh, <laughs> don't take this the wrong way, but I very seriously doubt that a successful company would restructure and repackage an entire game just because one little gamer wrote them a letter. I I am not one little gamer. In fact, I have played Phuket over 180 times as a two-player, three-player, four-player, even the solitaire version. And in every instance, the rule proved faulty. So when I walk into Great Whale Games, I will demonstrate the rule so thoroughly that even the game's designer, Palmer J. Peterson himself, will have no choice but to admit that the Shao Fa rule is nothing less than broken.